So in this video, I'm gonna go ahead and review every single team of the season player in FIFA Mobile 22 that we got so far. Obviously, come with your team of the season players only. So make sure to like this video if you're excited and subscribe to my channel for more FIFA Mobile 22 content. So I'm gonna go ahead and tell you players you should go ahead and pick up or avoid. Let's go ahead and start off with the reserve players, 94 to 95 rated players. First of all, we got Raspadori. This card is decent. He's got five star record, four star skill modes. He's got 98 pace, 101 shooting. 103 agility 87 passing this card is actually pretty decent i think it's gonna be a pretty good striker for you right now um obviously you should not buy this pack but if you go ahead and pick him up from the market whenever he's cheap it's gonna be a nice little card he's got short passing skill boost for a striker definitely not great but he's very very agile he's got good shooting stats decent pace high low work rate which is perfect just no he's And he is short, so it's, it means he's gonna be very, very agile. Obviously, not good on, in the air, but yeah, this card is pretty decent. Raspadori is pretty decent. Uh, then we've got 94 rated John McGain. He's got 3 star record, 3 star skill most, but very, very well rounded centimeter right there. Long passing skill boost, I don't think it's the best, but as I said, he's got a very, very good, well rounded stats. Uh, he's, he's got 94 rated uh, card, of course. He's got high, high work rates and a couple of trades. Long, long shot taker, long passer, and playmaker traits. So I think that's a very, very good uh, centre mid if you need a good uh, Premier League centre mid in your team. That's definitely uh, one of the better choices right now. Um, 94 rated McGinn. And then we've got 94 rated Adeyami, 113 pace, 98 shooting, 99 agility, 86 passing. He does have a decent, uh, decent card. He's got only 3 star record though. This is not too great in my opinion. He's very, very good as I said. Target man skill boost. Medium, medium more crit still another left red flag. So for now, I don't think Adeyami is that great. I don't think I would go with Adeyami. Obviously, he's very, very fast, but that's Rizal Recruit work rates. Uh, and yeah, it, it, I just don't, I, I just don't think uh, you should go ahead and get this card. There are better strikers. There are better strikers than Russell Dory, of course. But um, Russell Dory is, in my opinion, a little bit better than Adeyami because of his weak foot and work rates. Then we've got a little bit lower um, team uh, resort players. We've got um, Botman, 92 rated Botman, 79 pace. Way too slow, in my opinion. At, at, the, at this stage of the game for team of the season, but great defending and physical. He's six foot four tall, medium high work rates, and he's got marking skill boost. So he's he's got a very very good card, but he's a little bit slow. I think there are better center backs you can get right now. Then we've got ninety two overall goalkeeper Ortega. Obviously, we don't know how good he's gonna be, but he's not that uh, he's not that um, tall for a goalkeeper. Then we got Kakwe as a center mid. Decent sentiment for 91 overall, but I'm not gonna go down uh, to low overall team of season players because not a lot of people care about them. But this Zambo Anguisa card, 91 rated Zambo Anguisa card, is a CDM. Looks like a beast to be honest. 91 rated and very, very good stats, but medium low work rates. There we go. That's a big bit red flag for a CDM. So definitely not a good choice for you as well. Let's go ahead and get into community team of the season. Uh, players then and let's go ahead and rate all of them first of all we've got 94 rated carrasco 103 pace 105 agility 97 shooting 93 passing 77 agility four star recruit and four star skill moves definitely a very very good card right there for a lot made he's got a very good card he's got high high work rates he's six with one tall selfish flare long shot taker and speed reward trades with long shot skill boost so yeah i definitely i would suggest you to get carrasco if you need a good center a good left mid right now he's definitely a decent player All right there we've got 94 rated connor cody then obviously pretty slow for a center back he's got 93 passing which is insane 104 defending and 99 physical he's got low high work rates which is perfect pretty much for a center back but same uh, same thing pretty much like forward attack is gonna be quite good because uh, pace is not that big of a problem but in head to head you need pace for your center back so i don't think i would suggest going with cody that pace is very very important for a center back then we go 94 rated gerard moreno he's got four star recruit three star skill moves 90 pace is a bit low for 95 overall he's got 103 shooting and 100 agility which is great good passing and decent physical as well 95 acceleration, 86 speed. Obviously, I haven't upgraded his um, skill boost. Uh, but if I, if I did, he 
it will have like plus 10 skill boost i believe plus 10 uh sprint speed if not more so i would uh, calculate it pace is like 96 or 97 um so yeah it's, it's it's a decent card but he i don't think in game he's gonna be that agile uh, i feel like he's gonna be a little bit heavy and i think there are better strikers you can get he's he's decent don't get me wrong he's a pretty decent card but i think there are better strikers for example eusebio obviously this yard more is gonna be cheaper than eusebio but yeah team of the team of the yard mbappe i think is better and we're gonna get better cards i think in better strikers in other team of the, in other team of the season leagues anyways then we've got 94 rated cdm uh fred and this card actually doesn't look how bad it's got four star recruit and four star skill modes it's got 95 pace 100 agility 96 passing 93 defending 88 physical vision skill boost obviously as a cdm physicality is a bit too low but i'm i actually dip that card i actually quite like it 71 strength not too great but high high work rates is uh five feet seven tall so yeah a couple of red flags right there weakness uh, strength is a weakness as well as uh, his height but a decent cdm for fred obviously kante is very very short but he's very very good so i feel like can the fred as well is gonna be a very very good card in this game uh but yeah it's definitely a quite quite a good option for a cdm for cdm right now then we got 96 rated zaha three star record already pretty bad but his stats are, are very very good five star recruit five star skill move sorry a 108 pace 100 shooting 105 agility um he's got very very good shooting and pace uh, he's got he's very very agile he's got high medium work rates so yeah that's a very very good card if you avoid shooting with his last foot uh, most of the time you should be good with this Saha. if you can't then um his last foot is gonna be a problem but his stats are very very good so i think he's still one of, he's still one of the best left wingers right now probably in the game but yeah that three star record is a little bit of a problem then we go 96 rated todibo insanely good sand back card very very fast great defending and physicality decent passing and agility i believe he used to be he used to be a barca player uh, he's got 106 sprint speed obviously crazy good defensive stats only problem with him is that medium medium work rates but other than that, this card is basically 96 overall to the ball. I would actually suggest getting this card if you need a good uh, league and centre back. I think it's gonna be pretty nice. Then we go 97 rated Loris. Again, another goalkeeper. He's got great stats, but can't really comment too much because um, yeah, goalkeepers, they are unpredictable in this game. All of them concede some pretty stupid chances, but some of them are a little bit better than the others. So I can't really comment on Loris. We need to go ahead and try him to see if he's gonna be good or not. But his stats definitely are good and reflex skill boost is pretty nice. Then we got 97 rated Parejo. His stats are are good. The shooting, passing, and agility is good. Defending is decent, but pace and physicality is a bit low. Um I feel like for 97 rated centimeter, his stats are not quite good enough. I think we are gonna see uh, we're gonna see better center mid cards. Um and yeah pace below as i said this is a better version than team of the year Jorginho we got by that time i think it's a very very similar card to that team of the year Jorginho when we got that when we got that team of the year card it's a similar type of player that uh parejo is gonna be decent but not quite uh not quite strong enough i think uh that sentiment position for 97 overall obviously uh, in 97 overalls are obviously uh, pay to play as well or going to spend 25.5k gems but you can get them from the market anyways then we got 98 overall suarez again just like gerard moreno now four star record is good but 90 pace for 98 overall player with second striker skill boss is quite low to be honest that second striker skill boss is obviously good it increases sprint speed by eight but it's still sprint speed is still very very low for Suarez. Shooting is obviously great. Uh, he's got decent agility and balance, and uh, he's uh, he's got high medium work rate, six foot six foot tall, decent striker once again. But that eighty three acceleration, I think, lets him down a little bit. I think for ninety eight overall, it's not worth to really get that Suarez card. Then we got ninety eight rated Laporte, eighty three pace. Is a little bit low, not gonna lie, but defending skill boost 
it's got he's gonna get sprint speed upgrade anyway so it's gonna get about 85 86 pace probably when you upgrade this uh skill boss maybe a little bit more but great defensively and physically it's got medium medium work rates a little bit it's it's not that great uh obviously but it's six foot tall i think i think to be honest this Todibo card is better than this Laporte card and I'm not even joking. This Laporte is decent but this Todibo card is better so I don't think for 98 overall I would get this Laporte. But last but not least we've got 98 rated um, Serge Gnabry. He's got 106 pace, 105 shooting, 100 passing, 111 agility, 4 star weak foot, 4 star skill most, dribbling skill was. I actually love this card. For right mid this card is very very good, very agile, great shooting. Uh, sprint speed is only 99 but his acceleration is good high medium work rates flare long shot taker and speed reward trades and he's five foot nine tall as i said i love this card i'll definitely suggest getting him if you need a good right mid right midfielder and if you can obviously uh, go ahead and afford him but that's pretty much it with today's video guys let me know down in the comment section if i missed any players i don't think i did i think that's all the players all the team of the season players we go i'm gonna check in the market anyways just to be 100% sure. Do we have any other players? Um, I don't think so. I think I, I'm, I just, as I said, I'm not gonna review every single low overall card, but that's pretty much. Timber actually is gonna be a decent card, right? Yeah, this Timber card for 90, 90 rated center back is quite decent, high medium work rate though. Uh, not not too great. Please start with uh, for Anthony as well. This is gonna be the end of the video, guys, for today. Please make sure to like it if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to my channel for more and take care. Goodbye and peace.